what years were you at Google and what level you were at when you were there? I was at Google from 2017 to the beginning of 2022. I joined as L4 and I left as L5. What, what did you like about the Google engineering experience? Yeah, I think really fondly of it first, which is just the quality of the engineering. When I think of the PRs that I did and saw compared to everywhere else that I've worked at, it's second to none. And the other one that comes to mind is just how easy it is to get code in production if you're an engineer, to have you know your hard hard work, writing PRs, make it all the way to production without having to worry about anything really is a luxury. And you can see that as you move from companies like Google into smaller companies and startups and folks who are just trying to make it work. What what were things that you felt like could have been improved or you didn't like about Google? Not much, actually. The only thing that comes to mind is that promotion-driven culture, that ratings-driven culture. Everything was kind of by the books when you're looking at the career ladder. And then also for folks who aren't really as ambitious or trying to grow their career, having that pressure on them as well, I think just goes throughout the entire culture. When you worked at Google and what level you are when you worked there? I worked at Google from 2017 to 2020 because I worked at Pinterest for two years prior to Google. But by the time I interviewed at Google, the recruiter told me that since I had only two years of experience, so they could only give me an L3 level, which is like a new grad level. But Google was so attractive at that point to me. So I just happily accepted as an L3. So I joined as L3. After one year, I got promoted to L4. Actually, a year and a half. At Google, people, I feel like people do things really meticulously and slowly. For example, if you want to work on a project, then you got to like write design docs and have it signed off by engineers and leaders from different orgs, different. That process alone takes a long time. So, so yeah. even before you can start actually coding, you got to spend weeks and weeks of time just designing the stuff and talk to people and socialize. Like some of the Googlers too actively pursuing being promoted, like advancing their career. That's both a plus and minus because to me, I feel like, I think some of them are like more or less like jerks, you know? Sorry, pardon my language, but that's how I felt because there are really good Googlers that I really enjoy like socializing with and talking to and learning from. But there are also some Googlers, some of them are on my team that mm. I felt really uncomfortable working with because back then I felt like a lot of the things that they did was purely for the purpose of being promoted. Uh, there are things that they were working on that were not helpful for their promotion. They wouldn't be able to do it. Not saying like all of the Googlers were like that. I would say majority of them were not like that, but there were definitely people like that. I didn't enjoy like collaborating with that much. What were the parts of Google that you really enjoyed? Other than the technical aspect of Google, the social aspect of working at Google, because there are so many talented people, smart people working at Google, coming from different cultural backgrounds and coming from different in different age groups. They're just so diverse, even though all of them, pretty much everyone I knew were engineers, but they were from very diverse backgrounds. When you were at Google and what level you were at when you were there? I was at Google at in uh, early 2016. That's my first job after graduating from University of Washington in computer science. And uh, I joined as a level three. I was about to get promoted to level four by the time I, I, I left Google in 2017. Uh, what did you what did you enjoy let's start there what were the good parts about working there I really like the campus like like the fact that everyone's super nice and uh, also the company really stressed a lot about being googly i think that's very very important that's what probably what makes google still one of the strongest brands in the industry you know even today i like that people are pretty collaborative and people are just you know like googly to each other also i like the fact that you know it's a prestigious company so when you tell people that you work at google usually people assume that you're like smart it's a nice environment what did you not enjoy about working at google so it's a huge company you know initially during the first year during my first year i would i felt like my learning was I was learning a lot. Yeah, after the first year, I feel like my work is sort of pretty repetitive. Many people, they are very content with the job. I mean, I'm not saying I'm sort of uh, not happy with the job, but I feel like, you know, there's you should be chasing something, right? Like you're either chasing a fast promotion or you're chasing a cool project. There should be, there should always be something that you're looking forward to, right? And when I speak to you know people around me, I feel like people are pretty happy. They're not happy just because they're you know like they feel like they're learning a lot or they're they feel like they're they're growing super fast. It's just that there's no better place to go. 
<laughs> if you know what mm. I mean, right? Like, especially yeah. being in the Seattle area. Yeah, there are only four companies. I think now there must be way more, but at that time, there were only Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and uh, Facebook. It's a pretty laid back environment, but, you know, I was still very early in my career and I was looking for faster growth. I was looking for the ability to work with people who are extremely motivated. Next person I talked to is someone who wanted to remain anonymous. And so I interviewed them and I'm going to just share with you what they told me. This is someone who went to Stanford, got a bachelor's and master's degree, joined Google in 2014, left in 2016. They came in as an L3 new grad engineer, entry level, and they left in 2016 as a L4 mid-level. Why did they join Google? This person actually grew up in the Bay Area prior to attending Stanford. And so he told me that for him, growing up, Google was the company to work at. It was the darling of Silicon Valley. And foundationally, because of how well-known it was and how many smart people went there, he felt like it was an amazing foundation to start his career. What did you like about Google? And the first thing he said was, it was the people. He was surrounded by really amazing, intelligent people. For example, he said that there were actually a bunch of ex-Stanford professors and ex-academics who were like the best in their field who came in and worked at Google full-time. And he actually had the opportunity to work with some of them. The other thing he loved about Google was that there were so many cool projects. And for the most part, he had access to understanding how and why these projects were built in the way they were. For example, he could read a ton of internal discussions. Why was the interface designed a certain way? Looking at the commentary on design documents and peeking inside the head effectively of very talented senior engineers or senior leadership. And finally, he loved the perks at Google. He got swag very frequently. He had pretty much every meal at Google, given how young he was, he had no other obligations. On the topic of what he didn't like about Google, he felt that there were restrictions on what he could work on on his own time outside of Google. Because he wanted to do different side projects or build apps or just publish things on his own. And he felt like there was always a gray area because Google was so big, they could make a claim that pretty much anything he did could have been competitive. And it, IP could be owned by the company or they could just tell him to shut it down. And so he was really nervous about doing things on his own passion projects while being a full-time employee of Google. The other thing he mentioned is that Google at the time, and now Alphabet, is just so big. It's an umbrella company, effectively, with many small companies and thousands of teams underneath it. And as a result, he felt like there was not very much cohesion and therefore no camaraderie among the different teams, which might actually have completely different or even opposing incentive. And because there were so many teams and so many incredibly smart people, he didn't feel as a new grad that he had very much autonomy or ownership. The next person I talked to also wanted to remain anonymous, but they did appear on camera. So I'm just going to blur out their name and audio so they won't be identified. What level did you come in at at Google? I came in as level three, and that's another downside. Even though the money was good, I was in, I was like making like $300,000 at the end a year, but I was still at level three, right? Level three meaning entry level. Yes, exactly. I had the perk scores, uh, but I changed switch teams <laughs> and that is notoriously known for, you know, being, you know, having a slump after switching teams. What were like the best parts of working at Google for five years? By and large, the people were smart. What I mean by that is that you may have disagreements about how to do things, what did you dislike about the work at Google? Sometimes you felt like you had to hurt Google in order to get ahead. What does that mean? An example given, you could see there's a problem, but it's better to let that problem explode and then fix it versus trying to fix it. Another example is putting emphasis on new products versus maintaining and fixing what you or, or improving what you have. And I think that somewhat shows externally too, where they come out with all of these products and then next thing you know, they're in the graveyard. Yeah. And I think that you feel that day to day. I want to share some observations about the good and then the bad parts of working at Google based off of these conversations. The first, the good part. Universally, every person I talked to said that the technical depth at Google is unmatched. 
Every single person said that Google had some of the best people in the industry when it comes to software engineering and building large scale systems. The tools and technologies are amazing and that can lead to really robust learning that will benefit you for the rest of your career. The other obvious attraction of working at Google is the prestige, which pretty much every person I talked to commented on how prestigious the Google engineering brand was. We all use Google every single day, whether it's search or Android or maps. There is an element of the Google brand which simply feels good and it kind of strokes our ego, but there is also a tangible benefit in that it will unlock doors for you later on. When people look at you as a Google engineer or an ex-Google engineer, they will automatically assume some level of technical proficiency or depth that other candidates may not have. Google also has some negative characteristics. The first one that comes to mind is downleveling. Two of the people I talked to were downleveled when they came in, it happened to me, and it happens to many people in the industry. Google has such a powerful brand that they're willing to give out a much lower level compared to what other companies might be able to offer you. And even when you're in the company, Google is well known for promoting very slowly. It might take an extra year, two years, three years to get promoted to the next level compared to a peer company or a smaller company. Even though career advancement at Google is slower compared to other companies, or maybe because of that, there is an unhealthy emphasis on performance review and promotion at Google. So when you have so much power and so many people, it's inevitable that you're gonna have incentive misalignment where you have certain people or certain teams that are working on different things or maybe working on the opposite thing. The result is that you have people who are working on their own self-interest and it turns into a political environment which can be really disheartening. Another huge negative I heard from the people I talked to is that there are so many qualified people at Google and the company is so big that it can be hard to navigate to the projects or technologies that you want to learn within the company. There is almost certainly going to be someone smarter or more experienced than you in whatever you wanna do. And so being able to gain more responsibility or jumping into a new environment, that can be much harder at Google compared to a smaller company. Overall, Google is an amazing place to work, but like everything else, the devil is in the details. You have to understand what are the exact pros and cons of the company and how does it relate to you. This idea of interviewing people who used to work at a particular company is new for me. So let me know what you thought of it. And also tell me what other companies you would like to learn more about. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.